so I have with me uh, this oscilloscope from Tentronics. The import, I'm not trying to advertise, but this is the uh, main thing: 100 megahertz and two gigasamples. So it's uh, pretty, pretty high end, I would say. And uh, so I'm just trying to visualize the PWM pulses here. So, so here is my servo tester. Okay, and I'm just supplying it with five volts. Input five volts here, and I'm, 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 I just put the ground to ground and oscilloscope pin here to the signal and I'm trying to visualize this signal and you see as as I move this knob let me show everything in one picture so as I move this knob here you see those widths on the oscilloscope expanding and do you see at the same time this So you see this is the narrowest pulse and uh, uh, motor the servo motor at is at this position. So as I increase this, now let's go to the oscilloscope and see the details. So I just go back to the minimum. So here you can see the pulse. Uh, let me just keep it on a stand maybe okay 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 so you can see uh, you can see here so this means the frequency of the signal is about 50 Hertz which is true like we said before right this is 20 milliseconds pulse and now let's just quickly in change the scale a bit here and try to see how much is the width of one pulse so if i try to scale the oops sorry if i try to scale this okay so this is at the minimum now and you can see it's uh, one milliseconds per division here so one block is like one milliseconds and this is the minimum and as i increase slightly over two milliseconds okay but you notice the frequency remain nearly the same it's about 50 Hertz and let's try it one more time with so that's how a PWM signal works